Have you ever wondered where your dreams go when you forget them? Not the ones you remember in the morning, but the ones that slip away like whispers. Those dreams have a home, and if you're very, very quiet, you might just hear them calling you. The beginning of the journey one chilly night, a little girl named Alia lay wide awake in her bed, staring at the ceiling. She tried every trick to sleep, closing her eyes, counting backward, even singing herself a lullaby. But sleep just wouldn't come. And then she heard it. A faint, soft hum floated through her open window, as if carried by the night breeze. It wasn't a hum she recognized. It sounded ancient, like a lullaby that had been sung a thousand times. The hum grew louder, so enchanting that Alia found herself getting out of bed, her heart pounding with excitement and curiosity. She followed the sound, slipping on her slippers and a coat, tiptoeing outside where the stars seemed to hang just a bit lower than usual. The moonlight bathed her in a silvery glow, illuminating her path as if guiding her. She walked down her familiar street, only to find it twist and turn in directions it had never gone before. The buildings faded, replaced by giant trees, their branches thick with shimmering stardust. The hum grew louder, pulling her deeper and deeper into a magical forest she was sure had never existed in her neighborhood. Finally, she reached a small clearing where a grand, glimmering archway stood. Alia gasped, etched into the archway were words she couldn't quite understand, yet somehow she knew their meaning. The land where dreams go to rest. Into the dreamland with a deep breath, Alia stepped through the archway, and immediately, the world transformed. She found herself in a land bathed in soft, colorful light, as if the entire place were glowing from within. In the air, shimmering like snowflakes, were small floating orbs, dreams, Alia realized. Each orb held a flickering scene inside it, like a tiny memory. A kind-looking figure appeared before her, an elderly woman with hair that flowed like liquid silver and eyes that held galaxies within. She introduced herself as Solara, the dreamkeeper. Her voice was warm and soothing, yet filled with a wisdom that made Alia shiver with awe. Welcome, Malia, Solara said gently. Not many children find their way here, but those who do, well, they are very special indeed. You have come to the land where dreams go to rest, a home for every dream forgotten, every wish lost, and every story untold. Discovering forgotten dreams, Solara guided Alia along paths lined with dreams. Each dream orb floated, waiting, and with a gentle nudge from Solara, one dream drifted closer, its glow intensifying. Would you like to see one? Solara asked, her eyes twinkling. With an eager nod, Alia reached out to touch the orb. The second her fingers brushed its cool surface, the dream unfurled, surrounding her with images and sounds, as if she had stepped into another world entirely. In this dream, she saw a little boy flying through the skies on the back of a giant, golden-winged lion. The boy laughed as they soared higher and higher until he was plucking stars from the sky and stringing them together like a necklace. The thrill of the dream washed over Alia, filling her with wonder. But then, just as suddenly, the scene faded. Who was that boy? Alia asked breathless. He was once a dreamer like you, Solara replied. He dreamed of flying, of touching the stars. But he grew older, and his dream faded. And so, it found its way here, to rest. Can he have it back? So Lara smiled, a little sadly. He could, if he were to remember it. But most people forget their dreams once they leave them behind. A dream of her own as they walked on. Alia realized the land wasn't just beautiful, it was also sad. So many dreams had been abandoned, never to be remembered again. She felt a pang in her heart, wondering if any of her own dreams were here, resting in silence. Would I have any dreams here? She asked hesitantly. So Lara looked at her for a long moment before nodding. Every soul leaves something behind. 
Would you like to see? Alia took a deep breath. Yes. So Lara guided her to a small, faintly glowing orb tucked away behind others. As she touched it, the dream unraveled, and Alia found herself in a cozy kitchen with her grandmother, baking cookies together. The kitchen was filled with the warm, comforting scent of cinnamon and sugar, and her grandmother was laughing, her eyes crinkling with joy. The scene was so real, so vivid, that Alia felt a lump in her throat. Her grandmother had passed away a few years ago, and she had long since stopped dreaming of her. But now, the memory washed over her, warm and comforting. She loved you dearly, Solara whispered. And now, this memory rests here, waiting for you to find it. The lost dream's dilemma just as Alia was lost in the warmth of the memory, a shiver ran through the air. So Lara's face grew serious, and she held up a hand to quiet Alia. The dreams, they're stirring. A deep shadow crept across the land, and a cold wind blew through the trees. Alia looked up to see a looming figure approaching, the keeper of lost hopes, a figure who swept through the land, claiming the dreams that had been forgotten for too long. Every dream he touched turned gray and faded, disappearing forever. Alia gasped. What happens to them? They vanish, lost for eternity, so Lara replied. But there is a way to save them. Alia's mission to save the dreams Alia felt a surge of determination. What can I do? So Lara knelt before her, placing a glowing, silver feather in her hand. Go to the dreamkeeper's tree, high on the hill, and place this feather upon its heart. It will light the way for all forgotten dreams, giving them one last chance to be remembered. With a nod, Alia took the feather and ran, her feet flying over the stardust-lit paths. She could feel the eyes of the dreams upon her, watching, hoping, wishing. Her heart beat faster as she reached the hill, the tree standing tall and ancient at its peak. But just as she reached out to place the feather, the keeper of lost hopes appeared, his shadow engulfing her. No, he hissed, his voice cold and hollow. These dreams are lost. They do not belong to you. Alia took a deep breath, meeting his shadowy gaze. They might be forgotten, but they're not lost. Every dream deserves to be remembered. With a swift movement, she pressed the feather to the tree's heart. A blinding light burst forth, banishing the keeper's shadow and sending waves of warmth and light throughout the land. A land restored, the dreams glowed brighter than ever, and Alia watched as one by one, they floated higher into the sky, like stars being born anew. So Lara appeared beside her, a gentle smile on her face. You did it, Alia. You've given them another chance. Alia felt a warmth in her chest, knowing that somewhere out there, people might start to remember their forgotten dreams. Maybe the boy would dream of flying again. Maybe someone would remember baking with a loved one. Maybe, maybe dreams could live on. But as she turned to leave, Alia felt something pull at her heart. She looked back at Solara and whispered, Will I remember this? Solara touched her forehead gently. Perhaps you will. But even if you don't, this memory will rest here, waiting for you just in case you ever need to find it again. With a final glance at the shimmering land, Alia turned, making her way back home, a sense of peace settling over her. And as she climbed back into bed, the faintest trace of a smile lingered on her lips. The next morning, Alia couldn't quite remember what she had dreamed, but she awoke feeling as though she had been somewhere beautiful, somewhere full of wonder. Have you ever had a dream you wish you could return to? Tell us in the comments and let's keep the magic alive.